Well, hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Well, it's made in time for the FMS 80 millimeter jet integral sent to me by Hobby Zone. Thank you, Hobby Zone. Um, I have not put this plane in the air yet. It is only um, just done a range test on my driveway and I did a range test here. Other than that, that is it. Um, so you've never seen the air yet. Um, Y'all watch my unbox, my assembly, and my radio setup video. Now it's time for the Maiden. Run right, a 4000 Sokokan with an ADC discharge 4000 6S all the way forward on the tray. And it snapped in good and try it. Watch uh, RC Informers. Rich, uh, his video shows you some tips on there about how to, uh, about that battery tray. About making sure those straps don't touch them four uh, pegs in there. Because that will help hold that in place. Also, because those pegs wear off, those nipple, the little nipple things I showed you on the tray wear off, your tray is going to slide out too. So to that end, just to be on the safe side, I've added a piece of foam spongy foam in there just to block that in just to be on the safe side um it snapped in nice and tight but i've i'm just so leery of that system um it, it's a great system if you take care of them pegs and make sure they're in good shape if you keep rubbing them pegs out then that tray is going to start sliding too freely and then your battery's going to come back and you're you're going to have a drastic change of cg uh hopefully not in the air but if in the air then you're going to have a very bad day but let's take this thing up, see how she does. I've got, I did change my rates a little bit. Um, if you watch the very end of the radio setup video, I, I told you what I changed it to. My high is 80 over 30 on both, on 30 Expo, on both ailerons and elevator. And then my uh, low is 70 over 30. And uh, my rudder is, my, my, I'm sorry, my low is 60 over 30, my mid is 70 over 30, and my high is 80 over 30 on both aileron and elevator with 100% um, with 30% throws all on the rudder. So we're going to go in my high rates in the AS3X mode, right, left, up, down, right, left, and I may go back and give myself 100% authority on the elevator, we'll see. But we're gonna go with 80 for right now. So, all right, right, left, up, down, right, left. All right, motor's on. We will do takeoff flaps right off the bat. Let me get back here behind camera precious. And we think one of the reasons why um, my audio sounds like it's coming out of one side and not the other is because oftentimes I stand off to one side of my camera baby on these videos and it's recording in stereo. Well, it's recording me over there on that side. So, all right, time reset for three and a half minutes. Here we go. Definitely wanting to rise on me. Time remaining, three minutes. Smooth flying. I'm going to have to move it out here.
Yeah. Well, I have to bring them flaps down more because she carries a lot of momentum. I, I went ahead and increased the throws on my elevator to 100% and increased the uh, landing flaps to come down a little bit further because she's got to slow down some. I was even coming in, going into the headwind and she's still uh, still uh, going way too fast. So, but very locked in feel. You take off flaps. Landing flaps. Flaps up. Landing flaps. Gear down. That's much better. Flaps up. Time remaining, one minute. Much better. All right, take off one more time. Oh yeah. Flaps up. All right, I can already sell you that <laughs> like I usually end up doing with almost every plane. I'm going to end up 100% throws, 30% expo on everything. Because I already changed the, the aileron or the elevator to 100% throws. Rudder's already there. So I'm going to go ahead and change my ailerons to 100%. Over 30% expo. That just seems where I usually end up anyways. And uh, I did have to put a little bit of down trim in her because she did seem like she's wanting to rise. And that's because I believe, like with uh, RC Informer, he's got his 5,000 even further forward than I have my 4,000. So she's wanting to rise a little bit. So I'm thinking, yeah, I put a little bit of down elevator in there uh, with trim, and she evened out just fine. So, yeah, you need to have a little CG, a little, a little more forward. So let's uh, motor off. We flew for three minutes even basically i had 30 well almost three minutes two minutes and 94 seconds let's see how much batteries left juice is in the battery 42 percent so yeah i could have gone up one more time but to show you that piece of foam it's awfully windy got that piece of foam right in there and i've got that battery in there as far as forward as I can get it um, but you can't without carving some foam which if you watch his, Rich's video a uh, Rich Baker's video at the RC Informer he'll show you how to do that but it's very important that whenever you slide this battery in and out that you hear that click if you're not hearing that click then something's uh, binding and uh, 
So it's very important that your battery, number one, that you have these square type batteries that you've got plenty of clearance on either side, plenty of clearance on either side and that their Velcro is not rubbing. There's, there's uh, actually four clips, two on either side that grab each side of this tray. You gotta make sure they're not getting hung up in that Velcro because that's gonna start wearing those, those, those uh, clips off and then your battery tray just gonna come sliding right out one day on you and you're gonna have a very bad day because you don't want this to go back several inches. And that's one of the reasons why I got that block of foam in there just to block it. At least it would be manageable and I could land it. Um, but yeah, if you can see a good, uh, you know, that much of tray on either side and you don't have any, any obstruction on that little track right there, then you should be all right. You should slide right in, you hear that positive click. If you're not hearing that click, readjust your battery. And yeah, I am gonna carve a little bit of foam out the very back bulkhead so that I can take this, <laughs> that foam right there, I can take this battery and actually ha have it hang off about that far on this tray and then that will give me a little bit better of a CG because she was wanting to slightly pitch, pitch up on me. So, but all in all, great maiden, very, very locked in. And um, once I get, get all the little quirkiness worked out, this is going to be a great jet to fly. It's a great jet already, but uh, anyways, there you go, folks. That is the FMS Integral, um, or Sharky as I like to call it, 80 millimeter sport jet. Looks like a spaceship or something, or a shark, really. Very organic looking. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then Sharky. Bye-bye.